European market, the Rio can be fitted with a suite of upscale features, including lane departure warning, automated emergency braking, and Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatibility, as well as luxury elements such as a heated steering wheel. How many of these amenities make it to the US market remains to be seen we're guessing most of them but they demonstrate the potential of this entry-level car. View photos. Tiny engine trio. We drove cars powered by three different engines, an 89 HP turbo diesel 1.4 liter inline 4, a 99 HP turbocharged 1.0 liter 3 cylinder, and a naturally aspirated 1.2 liter 4 good for 83 ponies. Each engine was mated to a crisp shifting manual transmission, and all left a thoroughly favorable impression. We're not sad that we didn't sample the 4-speed automatic that Europeans are offered. These engines are zippy, and they sound somewhat sporty even the entry-level 1.2. That bodes well for the US version, which will be powered by a naturally aspirated 1.6-liter 4-cylinder that'll far exceed the power rating of any of the models we drove. The current US Rio is rated at 138 horsepower. The US engine likely will be mated to a 6-speed automatic, Hyundai slash Kia also make a more efficient and quicker shifting 7-speed dual clutch automatic, but that transmission won't trickle down into the Rio anytime soon. It's fun to drive the Kia Rio, and on this first impression it strikes us as a car that's far more than an appliance. With the 3-cylinder turbo and the full tech package, it exceeds the boundaries of its segment, the somewhat more modest.